So today we were looking at the genetic map for a snail heterozygous for three different traits. Shell pattern, dominant present to recessive absent, slime color, dominant blue to recessive purple, and iris color, dominant red to recessive pink. From this data, we can see our R1 value, 0.12, which equals 12 centimorgans, and our value of R2, which is 0.08, or 8 centimorgans. We can also see our coefficient of confidence, C, equals 0.4. We can use the data on this table and the various values to determine the frequency of any potential gamete from the F1 individual. So to calculate this probability, we are going to use the recombination frequencies and the coefficient of confidence. So what is the probability of a gamete with no pattern, purple slime, and red eyes? So looking at our genetic map, we can see that no pattern to purple slime to red eyes is going to be a double crossover event because it crosses our R1 and our R2 region. We will do one half times the probability of the DCO event, which is R1 times R2 times C. Similarly, to calculate for another gamete, one that is patterned with blue slime and red eyes, which we can see is going to be pattern, blue slime, red eyes. So a single crossover event in the first region. To calculate that, we will do one half times the R1 minus the probability of the DCO, which is our R1 times R2 times C. We can use the similar formulas and these same values to calculate the frequencies of all of the potential gametes from our F1 individual. We see that we have eight different gamete types, two of which are parental, and we have four different genetic event types. Our non-crossover, single crossover one, single crossover two, and double crossover. Using the values from our genetic map, we calculated the potential frequencies of each of these specific gametes. We can use this information to work backwards. And from it, we found that our parents, our P1 generation, are two purebred snails both homozygous at each separate loci. Then we develop our F1 individual, which is our heterozygous father for all three traits. And we are gonna test cross him against our homozygous recessive mother. From there, we develop our eight potential gamete types, all stemming from the genetic arrangement of the father's loci. Today, I would like to sort site Mr. Hallweg and Whitney from NCSU, the creators of SpongeBob, and my TA for his wonderful assistance.